Get those Cybermen out. Welcome back to the Cybermen, guys. This is a best of one battle, our first for a first proper one for series 12. Uh, this is myself playing Mecha Freezer Skillless, uh, a work in progress build, versus Dylan playing a Soul Striker Janemba, also a work in progress. Um, so I hope you enjoy this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know what else you'd like to see in the comments um, in terms of decks you want to see us playing, etc. Um, also, guess what? I have lost another three kilos. So I'm down to 93 uh, from 100 at New Year's Eve. Um, I will put how much that is in pounds up there as well. Uh, I feel like I'm doing pretty well. It's only been like three weeks and I've lost a fair bit, so I'm going to keep going that way. And hopefully you'll start to tell that I'm losing some weight. Cheers, guys. Alrighty, guys, this is myself on the right playing Mecha Freezer, as you've seen is the trend lately, uh, versus Dylan playing Super Saiyan Soul Stri what is it called? Soul Striker Reboot. Um, Janemba. So using the set 12 Janemba cards. Uh, I hope you like my new map. It's pretty damn cool. Um, there was a artist on Facebook that was that shared this image and I saw it and I thought, fuck Cybermen, you don't really see um, any good or much good custom art about the Cy with the Cybermen in them because they're just not very popular characters. Um, and they don't have much screen time or much time in the manga. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, message this guy, message the artist, and he gave permission to use that on some custom mats, which is pretty cool. Uh, it looks amazing. I love it. Um, let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing. He's got some lots of other work, including some uh, special Bulma nudie type um, Uh, art, which is pretty cool. Sorry, I just got confused what was happening. So, Janemba has um, played the Psych Demon, looked at the top five, chosen a Evil Incarnate from the deck, uh, and then used Combo Attack Janemba to send it to back, back to hand and draw two. Such a strong play because you're plussing so hard. You are plussing from life, obviously, but um, it's still pretty good, especially if you're like able to attack with that Combo Attack Janemba that turn. Um, I am attacking with the unison, minusing one to play two one-drop skillless battle cards from my deck. So the way I've built this deck is it's built around drawing a hell of a lot of cards. That's why you see Giant Ball there, because that draws you one and two if you use it with your, uh, to t take a life to use it. Uh, I use I Am The World Champion to draw with this Kid Goku that comes into play. Um, and I use the U9 Assemble card to draw as well. So it's just heaps of draw power. Um, I'm still refining it. This build was halfway between two builds and I accidentally forgot to put Super Convos in, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I was running this, this is just a friendly game, but I had this at um, less than 50 cards without realizing it until afterwards. Uh, but still, it really really fun build uh, if you like having a big hand it's really good um, the other thing I'm missing in this build which I really need is the 18 combo card which is a blue card from BT8 I believe uh, that allows you to drop an extra card and it becomes an 11k combo um, so I do run that now in this build um, in my deck sorry you'll see that in the upcoming Shroom and Salsa versus Mecha Freezer I'll be putting out in the next couple of days, um, which is really cool. So my opponent played the Janemba Unison, uh, the Zeno Unison, and then is, I assume, going to ramp here. So it's a really interesting deck. Um, so he's probably going to Untap to uh, and then combo off the Janemba. Yep, so he can play the five drop Janemba for one. Really nice being able to get that out on turn two because of the Zeno Unison. Uh, he just didn't realize here that um, 
your Janemba needs to be a three cost. So you can't actually play off the five drop. It's okay because we realize it here. That's what deck testing is all about. That's why we're doing this. So the five drop is still good because it's a one, like one cost 20k critical body, but um, yeah, you cannot use the Xeno Ball or the Dark Dragon Ball on it because it needs to be a three cost. Uh, intersecting Fates allows you to look at the top two, add one to hand, one blue card to hand. Oh, it's just one, I think. Yeah. Any card or blue card. And place the other card in the drop. I think it must be mono blue. He didn't show me that's fine. Uh, and then untap an energy. Such a strong card. Tapping one for another psych demon. Psyche demon. I don't know what it's actually called. Um, looking at the top five for uh, evil incarnate again. So grabbing that two drop. Janemba. That's just the skill as Janemba there. And passing turn. So I still haven't perfected this deck. I think Dylan and I are both are still working on these decks, so they're not up to scratch here. Um, but I really like this. Uh, <laughs> I obviously wasn't happy with that draw. I don't know what it was. I can't remember, but um, I really like this build, this uh, skillless style build. It's more of like a one turn kill, even um, really fast aggro deck if you if it, you do it right. Um, this is another misplay here. I remember this. Um, he's supposed to ditch an energy at the end of turn, uh, and he didn't. So that was the five in rest mode or oh, four in rest mode but I plan to rest mode one of these cards I think so I wouldn't have played that that Basil if if I knew that that energy was supposed to be gone but that's fine um, so taking the innocent here I think we realized that he's supposed to ditch out energy in a second. So it's all good. Attacking the innocent again. There you go. So rest mode. So I did have super combos. I must have only had two super combos, not four. Uh, I, was, I was bloody telling him. He'll watch this and he'll tell me about it. But I was telling him oh, I didn't have any super combos in my deck. But I must have only had two. Because what happened was I had a 2-2 two -two split of Zamasu and... Um, um, of the draw super combo and then I decided to just do take the draw one out and put four Zamasus in. This is where I tried to activate main on the Basil but because he accidentally forgot to put his energy in the drop I didn't get to do it. It's unfortunate but playing two skillless battle cards here So I really like that unison. I, I think I'm putting cooler in here as well. I didn't have cooler in any of my builds that I've played so far, but I think I'm going to put maybe it two or three. That unison, the Goku Jr. unison is awesome, but I don't use it as a unison. I use it just as a way to get these out because it's one energy. You get to attack with it. Um, so you get to do a 10k attack, usually play a turn one. So 10k's are going for life damage. Uh, and then you minus one and play two more 10Ks for life damage. It's pr three 10K hits for one energy. It's pretty good. And also you can use I'm the World Champion and the Kefla combo. So my whole um, game plan here was to get the two Keflas out and then combo the two Keflas I have in my hand to get them out. And unfortunately he God Sealing Trunks that, which I probably should have tried to push Zeno down to one before I did that. Silly me. He's plusing two. Tapping 
tap in two for the two drop, which I don't believe I have a response to attacking with the crit Janimba, and that's a Nimbus, Nimbus off life, very nice. Swapping. And then he's deciding actually he's going to play this because it's probably better. Uh, but forgive me, I don't remember what these Janemba cards do. I know the three drop is a dual attack. This one, I think when it attacks, you have to do something or they warp a card, warp a battle card, something like that. They KO a battle card. Comboing for 25k. And that's critical. Critting another Nimbus, which is a bit sad. Soul Striker, untapping two energy. So he's trying to kill my Goku, but I have I'm the World Champion in hand and I kind of want to um, use it. Happy to sack some cards. I don't usually play that one drop, well, I'd never play that one drop Goku from hand and Chapel usually only play with um, Universe 9 Assemble, so in hand they're just combo power. <clears throat> While we're waiting, you like my new statue? You would have seen it at the start. Master Roshi doing Mafuba or Evil Containment Wave to Capture King Piccolo, pretty cool. Resin. Tapping one for Cauliflower, and then Awakening. I'm the World Champion. I was thinking about whether to take life or use energy for it, but... I know that this Janemba deck, the longer it stays alive, it starts getting worse and worse. <laughs> stronger and stronger, so I think I'm thinking about maybe finishing finishing off here. So 20k into leader, I would assume. He has three super combos in hand. What a sexy boy. So I assume I tap down one of his energy. Oh. Looks like we didn't think about that, anyway. Something I've noticed with this build, before I made the changes, uh, it kind of runs out of gas if you don't, if you aren't able to finish them off early. Um, I haven't seen U9 Assemble, I don't think, which is something that I really need to start bringing um, more control into the game. Tapping one for... Dazzle? Activating that. So now he does have five cards in... Oh, no, he doesn't. He's got four, so I can't activate that. <laughs> I 
feel like having five cards in rest mode is easier said than done. Uh, a lot of the time playing this deck, I think I've only activated, I don't know, maybe played six games or seven games with this deck and I've only activated that Basil like once. Um, just haven't, haven't seen it. Seen four cards in rest mode. It's not like this deck rests cards like crazy. Actually, if I sh I would have had four in rest mode if I remembered to tap something down with um, Khalifa. But because I didn't. So that would have given me pressure on the leader. Passing turn here. Can only hope that I have another Nimbus in hand. But I believe he has the SCR Pycorn. And do I remember to tap down a... There's... Yeah, so there you go. So tap down a battle card. So he's not going to try and... Nimbus this turn. I mean, he's not going to try and use the SCR this turn, probably because of Nimbus. And I have three life. I believe. Uh, maybe two, actually. Maybe the SCR would have been a good shot. And tapping two on drawing for the leader skill. He's got that shield in hand, so... Shield is really cool. You deal damage. If you deal damage with it or take a marker off a unison with it, you get to play a skillless battle card from your deck. Works really nicely with this because then you can use that skillless battle card to evolve um, into the Zeno Genemba, whatever they're called, Genemba Zeno. Just getting rid of that. Kid Goku, he knows I like to draw a lot. Come point out. And he is using the Zeno to wipe our boards. Smart play here. I think I probably <clears throat> would have had game straight away next turn if he didn't do that. I don't think he was going to be able to survive attacks. So, ending turn. Attacking leader. I can't recall what I have in my hand here and whether it's enough to push for game. You can see a kid Goku. That's where I was trying to think about whether to go down to one life or not. That was just a draw because I can't play anything. 
he was saying, you get to play something. All your opponent's energy needs to be in rest mode in order to play something. Big one for Basil. Just trying to draw into something that's going to help me out here. Little did I know, he's got two super combos in hand. It's pretty unlikely that I can do anything. <coughs> Even if I did have a double strike on me somewhere. Yeah, Simon talking about my hand. <laughs> Trying to draw two more. Probably looking for a, a negate or something similar. Unfortunately, he critted one of my Nimbus Nimbuses, so that's not going to help. Now he's checking probably to see if I have a Nimbus. Three. Three Nimbuses in drop, so it's very unlikely. I don't think I have one, but I can't remember. So that's my alarm telling me I have to do some out of hours work. I'll do that after this. Attacking. Looks like I didn't have a Nimbus here. Just go with 15k. Attacking with 19k. So I believe I'm on one life here. 19k again. Attacking with critical 20k. So it's funny, he's toying with me here, Dylan. You can see he's, he's getting ready to play that um, PyCon SCI. He's just whittling my hand down first. I'm here thinking I might have a chance. Ooh. That's unfortunate. I wonder if I had a combo. No, oh, that was it. Good game. So, PyCon SCR wins the game. Um, hope you enjoyed that, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments about both these decks. Uh, I definitely think they both need some work, um, but we both know that we're working on that. So, cheers. Don't forget to like and subscribe, man. Thanks for watching guys, we really appreciate your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe, tell your friends, share the video, comment down below and I'll try to reply to everyone. Uh, we have now got a store on our website uh, for all Australian residents, so jump on to www.thecybermen.com slash shop and you can grab your pre-orders for set 12, pre-orders for set 13 and a bunch of other fun stuff, including custom mats and things like that. We'll be putting some merch up there as well at some point in the next month or so. So look out for that. Again, thanks for watching.